my name's Marin. Um, I'm a trainer here at Pocatel Athletic Club, and today I just wanted to bring you into my kitchen and show you five things that I do for meal prep every week. We've got some chicken in the crock pot, I've got sweet potatoes in the oven, we're gonna cut up some vegetables, and we're gonna scramble up some eggs and go over some really fun snack ideas. So you guys are wanna, gonna wanna get your crock pot out, you're gonna wanna get your veggies ready to go, and you're gonna wanna do this this week too. So before we get our hands dirty, I wanna talk to you guys about organization. Before we get all this meal prep done, we need to make sure that we've got all the supplies we need. So I go grocery shopping every two weeks, but it's really your preference. If you wanna go once a week, that's good too. So um, you wanna make sure you have a list ready to go and have all your supplies here before you start your meal prep. Cause you don't wanna start your chicken in your crock pot and realize you don't have any eggs cause it's nice to get this all done in one shot. So my chicken's been in the crock pot for about five hours. All I did was put a little chicken broth in there, salt and pepper, garlic, and Lowry's. And then I started my sweet potatoes. Um, I just put a little Pam on some foil and poked some holes in the sweet potatoes and baked them at 350 for about an hour and a half. I decided to do um, some bell peppers, some zucchini, and some already cut up cauliflower. I'm gonna go ahead, we probably should wash this, but I don't. I feel like we probably cook the germs out of it. So I'm just gonna, right here, throw that on a pan. You might break up some of the bigger pieces so they cook a little faster, okay? That's probably good to go right there. We're just gonna quickly dice up this zucchini. I buy mine at Costco. Actually, I buy all my produce at Costco. Um, if you've got a big family like me or you go through a lot of vegetables, they actually have a lot of great produce there. So I'm just gonna throw this on here. Got another one here to go. So these veggies will last me. I like to do them about four days at a time. I think anything more than that, your veggies get kinda, don't taste as fresh, but that would be kinda personal preference. So I'm just gonna throw these on here. And then we're gonna throw on some bell pepper. You really could do anything. You could do asparagus. Um, you could do carrots. I do something different pretty much every week just to mix it up. So now we're going to season these up. Um, all I do, pretty easy and simple with all my veggies. mix those up, get that olive oil on there. I've got my oven preheating to 425, um, and I'm just gonna stick those in there and roast these veggies up. So that's it, you guys. All we do is put it in the oven. All right, guys, so that took me less than like three minutes to do. So those of you that say you don't have time, you really do. Go ahead and get started on our eggs here. It doesn't take too long. Just add in the Kirkland egg whites, a whole carton of them. Just pour that in and then you're going to stir them together. Make sure your pan is sprayed with some Pam spray. 
when you're all done whipping those up. I'm just going to pour them all in there. I'm going to season them with some salt and pepper. Now again, I made 10 eggs and a whole carton of egg whites, so that gives me two eggs and two egg whites per day. I'm just going to give them a little stir here. They're almost ready to go. they're just about done. Now I'm going to get my apple ready because I do my apple and um, either peanut butter or the buff bake. I always make that the night before. You wouldn't want to do it too far ahead of time or else it won't, the apple won't stay as fresh. So I always do that the night before. If you haven't tried this buff bake, it's delicious. I have to be really careful because serving size is two tablespoons and I could probably eat like the whole half a jar or maybe a jar in one day. So if you do buy it, be pretty careful because it's delicious. It's about the same nutrition content as peanut butter. Everything's all cooked up now. I'm going to show you guys how I portion it all out for the week and get it ready to go. Um, one good thing to have is a food scale. Um, you can always measure by the palm of your hand is, you know, a portion of meat. But it's great to have a food scale because then you know you're getting four ounces or six ounces or whatever you're supposed to be having on your nutrition plan. Um, another good thing to have is some Ziploc bags. So I portion everything out for two days. Um, and with anything extra, I put in these Ziploc bags because I don't have enough room to keep all the containers, nor do I have enough containers to um, portion everything out. So it's always good to have these big Ziploc bags and then like the sandwich size. Um, and then you also want to have a good supply of containers so you can portion out your food for the entire day or a couple right. days. So my chicken's been in the crock pot for about six hours and you just want to wait until it gets tender enough to shred like this. So what I do is just take it out and just start shredding it apart here. For about an hour. And you just want to wait until they're kind of soft um, and then they're done. But pretty simple. All we do is peel the skins off of them. You can just put them down on this tray. All right, so we're gonna start with breakfast. Um, I'm gonna portion out for two days of my breakfast. So when I did my eggs, when I scrambled them, I did 10 eggs and a whole carton of egg whites, which equals out to two eggs and two egg whites a day. Um, the easiest way to do it, I think, is divide your eggs onto five paper plates, so I've already done that. So we're just gonna plop two of these in there. Okay, and then with my eggs, I do three ounces of sweet potato. So I'm going to weigh it here on the scale. Okay, so we've got three ounces there. I'm going to plop that back on there. All right, now we're going to portion out um, lunches. So for lunch, we're going to do um, four ounces of sweet potato, four ounces of chicken, and you know, about a cup of vegetables. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure this out on the scale. Good enough. All right, now we need our four ounces of chicken. some vegetables in on here. And these vegetables cooked up really nice. Again, we just did these at 425, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and they're amazing. All right, so we've got everything packaged and ready to go for the week. Um, all the leftovers I just put into Ziploc bags because after you're done with your two days worth of meal prep, you can dip back into these once your containers are clean and portion everything out for two or three days again.
week, I wanted to show you guys what I use to carry my food with me every day. So this is a six pack bag. You can get these anywhere, um, BYN, online, or any other kind of bag would work. Uh, this keeps it nice and cold all day long. So I just grab my lunch here. I've got my apple and buff bake for one of my snacks. I've got my protein drink for after the gym. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece of fruit to have with that protein shake. And then I just go ahead and put my ice pack in here, zip it up, and I'm ready to go for the day. All right, you guys, thanks for coming into my kitchen today so I can show you how to plan for success during the week. Um, the old saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, and it's totally true. Um, I've tried it lots of different ways, and really, if you don't have your stuff with you and prepped, even if you're a working mom or dad or a stay-at-home parent, if you, if you don't have your stuff ready to go, chances are you're going to reach for those Doritos first before you can make a healthy snack or lunch. So try these tips and I promise you, you're going to see more results if you prep your food for the week and are ready to go and are organized. Anyway, it was fun to have you guys today and I hope you guys try out some of these recipes.